Hi, friends. I'm Pastor Jack Mantrick, pastor at Century United Methodist Church right here in Waterford, Michigan. We're located at 3882 Highland Road in Waterford, Michigan, and we have worship services at 1030 at this time, and uh, those are both in person and uh, online as well. We are starting a new uh, streaming service. We'll be streaming through Vimeo rather than just Facebook. Uh, our Facebook uh, presence uh, will probably be going away because we want to be able to share a variety of music that is possible on Vimeo rather than on Facebook. So please uh, pay attention to uh, those uh, streaming differences. You can find out that all that information on our website at Waterford. Uh, waterfordcumc.org. Again, our, our, uh, our website is waterfordcumc.org. Uh, friends, uh, yesterday we finished up our generosity campaign here at uh, Central Church. That's the time of year where we plan for our ministry and mission in 2022 or the next year, uh, which is 2022 this year. Uh, and we will be uh, looking forward to uh, funding the ministry and mission of uh, Central Church for a new year, anticipating God's blessings and moving forward in the ministry of our church. Uh, I want to uh, say that uh, on Sunday mornings to accompany our message, we have message notes. You can write in the uh, uh, spaces provided. You can write in the margins, whatever is helpful for you. There's also five days of devotion material in this little brochure. And then we spend these few moments, Monday through Friday, uh, sort of unpacking the scripture, delving a little deeper into it, uh, plumbing its meaning, and uh, discovering what God would have us uh, to know uh, from the scriptures and through the message that is shared on Sunday morning. So I'd like to share with you a brief passage of scripture that comes from the New Testament. It is 1 Timothy uh, chapter 6, verses 17 to 19. As for those who in the present age are rich, command them not to be haughty or to set their hopes on the uncertainty of riches, but rather on God who richly provides us with everything for our enjoyment. They are to do good, to be rich in good works, generous and ready to share thus storing up for themselves the treasures of a good foundation for the future so that they may take hold of the life that is really life. May God add a blessing uh, to the reading and hearing of this word. We started the message this past Sunday uh, with a um, question. Do you think... Or do you believe that we human beings are created naturally generous? Is there something innate about our human nature that makes us generous? There's a certain theological foundation for generosity that life itself is a, a gift and that everything belongs to God. Psalm 24, 1 tells us the earth is the Lord's and all that is in it. So, when we understand that all creation is the Lord's and we are recipients of the abundance of God's creation, we can become grateful for this abundance and more willing to share with others. I would base uh, my thought process in terms of are we created naturally generous on the innate nature of our God. God is not only loving, but God is love as we're told in the scriptures. So if we are to emulate God and we are to be loving, then that loving comes uh, through acts of generosity and caring and kindness. So I would say that if we are created in God's image, then we are uh, created naturally generous. Now, that doesn't mean <laughs> that it's... Uh, uh, you know, that it's uh, not uh, a struggle to be generous at times. In fact, that's what this week's message was all about, is how can we be generous uh, in different times of our lives? How do we, you know, really work out a system of being generous and caring and kind to others? Not, not that that wouldn't come natural to us, but in order to 
truly, especially as the body of Christ, as the church as an organization of human beings, each of us with our frailties, how are we to be generous in the world today? How can we work together to be a generous church, generous people? That's a question for us. That's the challenge for us. But I want us to, the takeaway for today is, I believe that we are created naturally generous. We just have to find that nature within us so that we can be all that God created us to be. I want you to think about those things. I want you to think about uh, the scripture that I read from uh, 1 Timothy, how we are to love and not be haughty in our riches, but to lean into what God has given to us and be thankful for it so that then we will be able and willing to share. Let's pray. Gracious God, Thank you for your blessings uh, for us today. Thank you for uh, our generosity campaign here at Central Church this, uh, uh, this past few weeks. May it uh, bear fruit for our ministry and mission in 2022. In your name we pray and through the power of your Holy Spirit. Amen. <coughs> Excuse me. Have a great day, friends, and God bless.